Thank you everyone for, really for coming out. Um, my name is Jenny Hildebrand and I'm a member of SAM, Stop Sexual Assault in the Military. It's a grassroots group in Pittsburgh that we established in 2014. Uh, and as I go on, you'll know why. Hey. Helen, hi. Uh, today is an absolutely beautiful day in Pittsburgh. But somewhere, according to the Department of Defense, 50 women and men service members will be violently attacked. This will not be an attack from a foreign terrorist or enemy combatant. Fifty at least men and women will be attacked by men wearing the same uniform they wear. This number is not just a statistic. These are real women and men who will be damaged, broken, in some cases for life. And it's because in our military there is a culture and there is a judicial process that allows sexual predators and opportunist rapists to thrive. Today, Stop Sexual Assault in the Military, Sam has visited Senator Toomey's office for about the fourth time, asking him to please reconsider his opposition to something called the Military Justice Improvement Act, MJIA, and get on board with the broad bipartisan support for this bill. And why is this so important? It's because the MJIA, this act, would remove from the chain of command, from commanders of the accused and the accuser, the authority to decide whether or not to go ahead with an investigation when a charge is, is promulgated of sexual assault, and whether or not to prosecute the accused. They would put that authority in the hands of independently trained military legal professionals. What is wrong with the current commander's chain of command system of justice? First of all, the commanders are not legally trained in this area and the sensitivity necessary to deal with sexual assault cases. They have not been trained. It should not be part of their job description. description. Second, commanders will likely know either the accuser or the accused who serves in their command under them. In our uh, civilian justice system, we would never allow a police investigator, a prosecutor, or a judge to be involved in a case where they knew the accused or the accuser. It simply reeks of bias. Third, victims testify that in this system where they have to report to their commanders that retaliation is rampant. Senator Toomey supported a bill uh, two years ago that made uh, retaliation against people who report uh, sexual assault illegal, and that passed, and that's good. But this is a closed system, these command units, and they are able to still continue that retaliation. 62% of women who report sexual assault to their commanders report that they are discriminated against, sexually harassed, and retaliated in the uh, in their rank and in their ability to proceed in the military. No wonder eight out of 10 people who say they were sexually assaulted do not report it to their commanders. And fourth, what happens when your commander that you're supposed to report to is the one the night before that raped you? And this is also Shame. too often the case. Shame. The result is that the ineffective, biased, retaliatory, ineffective chain of command system allows horrific sexual crimes to go unpunished. 20,000 victims per year, 47,000 assaults, estimated again by a study commissioned by the Department of Defense. This horrific situation will not be turned around until every charge of rape and sexual assault is investigated thoroughly and objectively, prosecuted aggressively, and punished severely. Passage and swift implementation of the Military Justice Improvement Act would be a big step in that direction. Please, Senator Toomey, join your fellow senators who are committed to the Military Justice Improvement Act. These include Republican Senator Grassley, Senator Ron Paul, Republican Senator T Ted Cruz, Bernie Sanders, Senator Gillibrand, and your co-senator, Senator Bob Casey.
please don't just speak of support to our military, but support the young men and women that are at risk, not only on the battlefield, but in their barracks. Thank you. Thank you.